You know, you could call the last year and a bit the year of the great lie. And that lie was Andrew Garfield swearing up and down for a year. I'm not, I'm not in the new Spider-Man movie. I don't know what you're talking about. Pictures came out of him and Tobey Maguire together six months ago. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in that movie. Video footage of him in the Spider-Man costume in front of a green screen came out online. No, 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 I'm not in it. Then some other pictures from the set of the movie. I don't know where those ones came from. Wink. I don't know where those ones came from. Came out online. He's still, no, 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 I'm not in it. I'm not in that one. It was the year of the great lie. He was denying it a week into its first run. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He was he was denying it to his girlfriend. He was denying it to his parents. He was denying it. Lin-Manuel Miranda actually was being interviewed. And they asked him, like, because, of course, Lin-Manuel directed him in Tick, what? Tick, Boom. Ray's not paying attention. He's too busy to talk to people oh, in the sorry. live chat. He's talking to people in the live chat, Rob. I was waiting for it. But I love tick, when he tick, does boom. that. And Lin-Manuel Miranda was like, oh, no, he straight up lied to me. Like I said, dude, I'm I'm hearing whispers. Are you in are you in the new Spider-Man? Oh no, no, man. I don't know what I don't know what they're talking about. He was lying to everybody. The great lie. Then, of course, Spider-Man comes along. We all knew. Everybody knew he was going to be in it. Spider-Man comes along, and sure enough, he's he's in the movie. Well, now there's been a lot of talk and speculation about whether or not we could see Andrew Garfield pop up again. Whether that Spider-Man No Way Home was a one and done, which I think it was. I don't think we're going to see. Tobey Maguire or, or Andrew Garfield again as Spider-Man. But I I don't reject the ideas that there could be possibilities of other things. But if I if I had to put five bucks on, I'd say we're probably not going to see him again. Well, they came right out and straight up asked Tobey Maguire, or Andrew Garfield, I should say. They straight up asked him, are you going to play Spider-Man again? Any place to play, play Spider-Man again? And Garfield just said straight up, nope. I have, I have, well, no, he didn't say nope. He said, I have no plans to play, to play Spider-Man again. This is specifically what he said to Variety. He said this, when asked if he's going to play Spider-Man again, he says, I have no plans and that is the truth, Garfield said in, uh, to Variety on the red carpet presented by DirecTV. This was at the SAG Awards, he said this, I believe. Everyone is going to call me a liar for the rest of my life. I am the boy who cried wolf. But he said straight up to the guy, I have no plans, that's the truth. Uh, although I know everyone is going to call me a liar for the rest of my life, I am the boy who cried wolf. So I'm going to tell you right now, I believe him. I, I actually do. I believe him this time. I mean, we've heard Andrew Garfield talk recently about the fact that that was like lying to everybody was like the hardest thing he ever did. He said, I'm never going to do that again. And I, here's the funny thing too is, if, if he was, if there were talks of him being Spider-Man again, he could have just said, hey, listen, I've learned my lesson from what happened with Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm, I'm just not going to say anything, guys. Uh, I'm not going to either confirm nor deny anything. I'm just going to say. But he just straight up said the guy, I've got no plans to play Spider-Man again. That is the truth. I know everybody's going to think I'm a liar for the rest of my life, but that's what it is. So, Rob, while I really do like your notion of Venom 3... And Andrew Garfield as Andrew Garfield Spider-Man being in Venom 3. I love that idea. And you should. But uh, as much as I love it, I don't think it's going to happen. And, and, and I, and maybe I'm being naive here. Maybe I'm being completely naive. I actually believe Garfield now with, with what he's saying. So I don't know. Rob, you're hearing what Garfield's having to say. What do you think? I absolutely believe him. Really? Yep. I'm surprised. Yep, because there is no Spider-Man movie for him to sign on to yet. Okay, so your 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 famous your uh, big word is uh, yet. Okay, there I mean, we go. I mean, he can just. Of course, there's no. He's. I can honestly tell you, I'm not being. I'm sure he is absolutely 100 percent truthful when he says, "I am. I am not. I have no plans to play Spider Man now." I believe that because no one's come to him and said, "Would you play Spider Man?" But you still again? believe he is going to play Spider Man? I believe there is a huge possibility that yes, and I'll tell you why. I wouldn't imagine that when he came back to play Spider-Man, it was necessarily a one-off. I would say that, you know, the way contracts are done in Hollywood, maybe we'll, 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 they have an option to come back and get him. So 
Like, right? Can you imagine if they didn't do that? And they said, wow, uh, Andrew Garfield's peeps, his manager, his agents, his lawyers would say, uh, you know how much Spider-Man No Way Home made at the box office? If you want to get Andrew Garfield back, you have to pay $100 million. I'm sure they figured out something before they signed him to do this movie that it, in the case they wanted to bring it back, it wouldn't cost that much. So I'll bet you he does have some kind of a contract or a clause in his contract that does say something about him coming back. I bet you he doesn't. I I, I would bet not $1,000 because I'm not that sure, but I would bet that this was his true swan song. This was his goodbye. This was his, if, his, this was his opportunity to do what he didn't get a chance to do before when he was doing The Amazing Spider-Man. Do it one last time. And I think you've got to give an actor that, that give him this one last time, but then when he does say, well, come back, you know what it reminds me of, Ray? Reminds me of Undertaker. I know the weird wrestling analogy, but you know, you watch the, this documentary on on the Undertaker, who's a professional wrestler, right? Iconic, maybe one of the most legendary of all time. But they said, "Come back for one more match," and he's like, "Okay, he did." But then everybody loved it, so they said, "Oh, we'll come back again." And he later in his career talked about he kind of regretted doing that after that because it's like he did his one more match. It was great. It was fantastic. And they talked him into coming back for one more time. And then he had a performance that he wasn't happy with and he was embarrassed about. Then he said, well, now I got to do it one more time to try to make up for it. I mean, I, I think you got to give him this. And I think this was them just bringing it in for one shot thing because I still don't believe Sony or Marvel want two different live action Spider-Mans running around in different movies. But I'd be down As opposed for it. to three Batmans in one movie or one year. That that's a different company. That's a company that I doesn't know, have their shit together. I'm just telling you, you know what? You have to go back. There there was a lesson to be learned in Hollywood. And it if you didn't learn the lesson, it was writ large in the title of the movie. And that was 1983's Irvin Kirshner directed Never Say Never Again. <laughs> Star yeah, Sean Connery's James Bond, who said he would never come back. As a matter of fact, in Diamonds Are Forever, he only took the money and gave it to charity. But I mean, uh, there's Ten, no, oh, I think there's something to be said, though, about being penny wise and dollar foolish. It's like, yes, if you instantly put out Andrew Garfield in the Spider-Man movie right now, <laughs> could that movie make a lot of money? Sure, but are you creating? Are you damaging yourself long term? Are you are you doing something that you really shouldn't be doing and doesn't actually work overall? And yeah, you can get a big benefit right now, but that could be at the cost of something long term that hurts you more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this and say I don't think he's doing it. But Chris, you don't believe anybody that anybody tells you. No, ever. I don't trust or love anyone. So you hear what you hear Andrew Garfield's words. Mm -hmm. He's saying, I have no plans to play Spider Man again. That is the truth. But he was lying to us for like yeah. over a year. What are you thinking about this right I now? I think he's a filthy, filthy liar. <laughs> I think he's absolutely going to be Spider-Man again at some point. I don't believe this boy at all. I don't believe him farther than I can throw him. <laughs> mm -mm, he's going to show back up in there. And he's one of my favorite Spider-Men. I love him. And I know everyone started bandwagoning after No Way Home. Or, and like, he was great. He was a great Spider-Man. He was quippy. He was fun. I really liked the first, his first Amazing Spider-Man. I, yeah. I really enjoyed that movie fantastic. a lot. That I think he's, I, look, I've always said I think he's a fantastic Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. I really love the first Amazing Spider-Man. Not so much the second one. The second no. one wasn't great. It, I mean, those movies just have really big villain problems, too. They just aren't executed well. It's why they revamped them for the latest film. But yeah. I think he's going to come back. Okay, so we got two say he's going to come back. I don't think he is. I think, I think, I actually believe him this time. I think he's actually done. I think, I think what they didn't know, here, and here's the problem, too. I remember going like over a year ago, going into the last Spider-Man, people arguing, man, it would be so good if they had Toby and Andrew to give them one big send off. That's what everybody would want, right? Give them a big glorious moment that Toby Maguire never got to do because they were supposed to do Spider-Man four and that got axed. They were going to do a third amazing Spider-Man that got axed and everybody, the narrative was give them this one thing. Okay. So now they gave them that thing. Oh, we'll now do more. Well, yeah. We're you know, greedy. What about, <laughs> you know, doing what you say you're going to do and then just letting it lie. Look, you know what? There, there's always, you can always uh, invoke the Highlander 2 axiom. <laughs> Which is, of course, for those of you who don't know, the Highlander 2 axiom is no matter what we do, what movie sequel we make, it's never going to be as bad as Highlander 2. Yeah. it's That it's is true. the Highlander 2 axiom. One of the three great 
unholy trinity of the worst wide release Hollywood films of all time, Highlander Two. Or and if you if you haven't seen Highlander Two or you're unfamiliar with that, you can also replace it with Beverly Hills Cop Three. Well, um, see, my my unholy trinity, you know it. My unholy trinity of the worst ever wide release Hollywood films is in no particular order: uh, Highlander Two, Catwoman, and Battlefield Earth. They're the three oh. worst ever done. And so, yes, the Highlander 2 axiom. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Andrew Garfield, is is he just at it again? Or has he got his lying to everybody about his involvement and stuff put aside? What do you think? Do you believe him when he says, I am not going to be Spider-Man again? I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Or is he just pulling the same BS that he pulled with us for over a year? Whatever you guys think about it, jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there.